So next thing we are going to do now is populate these modules. I have removed the send grid module which we don't need right now. So we just need to worry about auth, config, database, logger, tracing or some other modules which we will keep adding based on our need. So config module. Uh, okay, config module uh, either you can use simple nest.js config or you customize it based on your need. So I will be writing nest.js config module and I have written this many times. So what I'm going to do is go to any of my repository of nest.js and let's say this is Uber Eats clone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy my config module from there. I'm going to steal the code from this repository. Copy. And this is my config. Before that, I can just copy some stuff from here. So this is my config. This is my auth. This is my database. Okay, inside source, we can create these modules. So I'm talking about config module right now. Copy these things and then we will talk about it. But I'm copying. So inside source. So I mean config module is nothing but uh, a module which will help us to populate the data inside a process.env. And there are some helper methods using which we can access these values coming from process.env. Simple interface, uh, simple module. Okay, uh, first we need to do pnpm install so that it can get the nest.js uh, modules. So let's go to the root and do pnpm install. So config module, config folder will also get the node modules once we do it. Similarly, the auth. Now currently we are working on config module because this config module further is going to be used in the database module, logger module or any other module. Because uh, config module is all about populating the variables in the process.env and in the logger we need to know the log level in the database. We need to know the database credential. Okay, this worked. Now we don't have any errors. Now let's see the config module. What we are exporting here is the config module and so this is my config module and the config service. Okay, this is what this package is giving us and this package, let's rename it to the scope is TK Sharma config. Okay, and this is auth. If we need to do anything with related to auth, we will do it here. This is the config. Now this config module further will be dependent on, I mean, will be used in the database. And we already know how to write a database module. So what I will do is I will use my existing repositories in let's say auth service because this is using the simple REST APIs. And here is my database module. So I will just copy okay, the storage folder. This is my database module. I will just copy that inside the database. So inside database we have source and the paste. So I got the database interface, modules, services. Here uh, service is not there. We just need a database module. DB module. Okay. We will have a dependency on the config module. We will see how we do it. This is giving us a database module. This is the name db module and index.ts. This is going to export everything from db module. And if you have some interface you wanted to expose, db interface. Okay. Now this database module is all about using the typo RM. So that we need to import because we don't have this nest.js typo RM dependency added in this package. So cd apps nest.js so we'll go to packages and i'm going inside uh, this and let's see inside database package.json nest.js type orm i don't know the version right now pnpm add 
nest.js type rm so it will add this dependency here because this is a dependency we are using it and type rm these are the the two modules which we are using in this particular module so type rm and we are good we got these dependencies now what we need to do is uh, we can just simply do a build and we will see what it is inside a code it is also dependent on this config module so how we are going to get the config module config module we need to import it so we already have a config module so we'll just import this config module inside the database package json and then at the root we will do pnpm install So we will get this config module added inside database. If you see TK Sharma config module has been added. So now inside database we are using some of the things that belongs to config service. So we can import. So this is how we will add a config service and config module dependency in the database module. Now we will see what is there in the config because when we build the database module, database package, it will build the config package. So what we will do is NX console. We will try to build the config first. Okay, it failed. Let's see what is wrong. Database URL may be required. Let's see all the code of config service interfaces config module config service now it's look fine now this time we should be able to build the config module okay config module is done now we will build the database module and you can see it will build first dependent project and now config database uh, because in the database module it was looking for this interface okay let's import this config database interface now let's uh, build this again so now we are building uh, the database module config module is now successfully built and it is also working so we have config module and database module. I just put some baseline config right now. It is looking for only, okay, what is the database URL? What is your environment? What is your port? What is Swagger username, password, log level, and authentication, like what is a session token secret and refresh token secret, the basic environment variables for writing a simple CRUD. Okay. I have a config ready, database ready and logger. Logger is also simply currently doing nothing, I guess. It's a simple logger service. I can get it from my project over its clone. Okay, let's see what is the, the logger module I have here. I will just copy all of these. It's like I'm reusing the code in my another project. And these things I have already covered many times. Logger module, logger service. So I have a logger middleware. I need to install the moment and express and the typings also. It is also dependent on config modules. We will add the config module here. Winston, moments, config module, a lot of things are there. So let's resolve them one by one. We need to have the moment so let's say cd packages and i will go inside logger and here i will say install it as a dependency pnpm add moment and express these two dependencies and then uh, we may need a couple of more config module so first we will add this config module Let's see if we can import. So 
so what we need to do is go to your package json and go to your package json of config this is the module name which i want to import inside a logger packages logger package json okay here i can just say this is my dependency i need from this workspace npm workspace and i can just do either you write that command pnpm link or i will just do pnpm i it will check okay new dependency added which is local it will add this dependency here you see the config is added inside logger also now if we look into the source code this is logger module.ts config service we will remove winston also we need to add cd packages and i need to add it inside a logger okay now config module can i import it directly yes this gives me this thing add import from this so now i can directly import because i have added this tk sarma config package dependency here middleware i need to add the typings also so pnpm add how do i add the types simply like this because it should be dev dependency logger module logger.ts middleware looks like we are good now i am importing logger and the logger.module okay and you can also import the logger middleware because logger middleware we need to use on all the routes so this is the logger middleware and now i can do the build for this tk sharma logger use nx console it is dependent it is also having dependency of config module so logger run it will use it will build this tk sharma logger it's just another package and there is some error let's fix that config service we need to import okay i have imported it is there any other error it is fine okay these are like looks like uh, ps lint errors so i will do simply build again for config logger okay simple command to build this and i think now this we just uh, match argument uh, we are not using it so that's why it is complaining can i just okay middleware this is logger.ts config service also not being used what is there a configured but never read this dot config service okay let's remove it because config service we are directly importing but this is a logger service here we are doing constructor injection so this should be done using this dot config service let's build it again okay so now it has uh, executed successfully now what do we have is we have all the code dependencies already built or or we may need to add config database logger what else do we need uh, in a particular project if you want to have a swagger swagger also you can add as a module but we don't need really need swagger we are using tcp interface and one is the gateway now we can start working on this gateway all the dependencies are resolved we have database module we have config module we have a logger module and if you can think of putting any thing other as a package then you can put it these are not a dynamic nest.js package or nest.js library it's just like 
I just isolated couple of modules as a separate in a separate folder so that I don't need to repeat it in each and every package. It's not a Nest.js library. Nest.js library structure is also kind of similar, but for now these are just external modules. Or you can also create a Nest.js dynamic modules and then you can import it. Dynamic module I will cover how we create how we can create it. Currently, all these modules are dependent on the process.env some variables which are being passed. So we'll also talk about that. So for now, it's like a baseline is ready. Now what we will do is this database module is rich enough. Here you can pass a particular uh, database type like Postgres, MongoDB, SQLite, MySQL and based on that, it can give you the connection options. Connection options are nothing but type, URL, SSL. And this is just a type ORM compatible database module, but here what you need to do is based on the type you would define multiple methods get connection postgres get connection option for mongodb get connection options for uh, mysql uh, because type orm can support all and this is it so what we need to do now is we'll work on this gateway and this auth and tasks 